Welcome to Connect with Mobeck. My name is Dr. Samira Ahmed. I'm an assistant professor and diabetologist at Turo University, California. Today, let's look into how to make the most of your visit with your diabetes specialist. So at your diabetes visit, your provider will ask you for your glucose readings. Do glucose readings really matter? Yes, they do provide valuable information on your blood glucose trends as you carry on with your daily activities. Knowing a pattern or trend will help your specialist adjust your medications that best meet your needs. So don't forget to take your meter to your appointment. If you keep a logbook of your readings, then take it along with you as well. Your eye health. The American Diabetes Association recommends a retinal eye exam at least once a year. Retinal eye exam involves looking at back of your eye to check for any damage due to high blood glucose. It is done by an optometrist or an ophthalmologist or an eye doctor. It is important to have this test once a year because if any change is noted early on, then it can be treated before significant damage to vision occurs. So if you have not had an eye exam, then it is good to ask your doctor for an eye referral. Next, we will talk about the importance of healthy feet. It is extremely important for people with diabetes to have healthy feet. Some of the do's and don'ts of foot care are listed here. Check your feet every day before you go to bed, including the bottom of your feet and look for any cuts, bruises or swelling or nail problems. Apply a moisturizer, especially if you have dry skin and apply it on the top and the bottom of your feet, but do not apply in between your toes because we all tend to sweat or retain moisture in between our toes. And if you apply moisturizer, you can get fungal infection more easily. Check your shoes for any small objects before you put them on and avoid wearing tight socks or sh shoes. You can ask your healthcare provider for referral to a podiatrist or a foot doctor who can prescribe diabetic shoes for you. Also avoid walking barefoot, even at home. Avoid soaking your feet and do not use heating pads or hot water bottles as they can cause burns easily. Your diabetes specialist will do this test, which is called monofilament testing. This is nothing but a thin, flexible plastic that is placed on the bottom of your feet as shown in the diagram. This is to check if you have any protective sensation in your feet. Insulin injection sites. Here you see the different locations where insulin can be injected. Lower abdomen and at least two inches away from the belly button, back of your arms and the outer sides of your thighs. Rotate the insulin injection sites to avoid getting scar tissue as it can affect the absorption of insulin. Your diabetes specialist will check for any signs of scar tissue at your visit. Finally, having a list of all your medications or taking your pill bottles with you for your visit will help your provider to check for any side effects or any interactions that can potentially occur. This is essentially, this is very important, especially if they plan to start you on any new medications. Hope you found this video series useful. For more information, tips, and suggestions, visit our social media site on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And we would love to hear from you. Thank you. Have a good day.